Good morning, my name is Angie Lee. I'm a public relations major with no concentration. And you'll have to forgive me if I start coughing or if my voice gives out. I'm just getting over a very bad cold, but I am very thankful that I get to speak with you today. Um, so today I'll be talking about misconceptions about um, event management in public relations. I chose to work in events because I love how it gives you the room to be creative while being strict, detail-oriented, and strategic in your work. I feel like many people don't fully understand what event management is and therefore can think that it is the lesser practice of PR or doesn't even belong under public relations. I would like to address this misconception today and prove to you that working in events requires hard work and it very much is a PR practice. The first misconception that I would like to address is that event management isn't serious. It's all fluff and ribbons and making things pretty. Well, I've taken the time to create a list of the requirements needed to work in event management. First, event management requires strategy. You need to be strategic because you're working across various platforms. For an event, everything must be timed perfectly to the minute. Second, it requires good communication. Because you're working with so many people, including vendors and venue coordinators, your clients, and not to mention their guests, good communication is key. Third, you must have interpersonal skills. You have to build a relationship with your clients and truly care about their wants and desires to be able to produce quality work and make their visions a reality for their event. Fourth, creativity is required. Original work is what makes an event unique and memorable. Last, you need to have integrity. Integrity is one of the attributes listed in the PR code of ethics, and what that might look like in event management is not overpromising to your clients. I think it's important at this time to define public relations, and so according to public PR essay, uh, public relations is a strategic communication process that builds mutually beneficial relationships between an organization and its public. I really feel like these three words, strategic, communication, and relationships, define PR. And as you may remember from the previous slide, the same three requirements are needed to work in event management, plus much more. All that to say, yes, we do like to make things beautiful, and we do care about flowers and ribbons, but that's not all that we do. The second misconception that I would like to address is that it's a one-time event that people just throw money into. I know that not all event planners may be on the same page, but at the company that I work for, Rekindle Creative, it's more than just about the money for us. We believe in the power of marriage and also enjoy making our clients' dreams a reality. It's more than just about money, it's about building relationships. I'm friends with several of the vendors that I've worked weddings with, and I have a photographer and a videographer lined up for whenever I decide to get married. I follow my clients on social media, and it's really cool to see their marriage thrive and flourish after having shared their wedding day with them. We're part of someone's significant day, and it's a day that they're going to be remembering for the rest of their lives. So here are just a few of the clients that I've had the privilege to work with on their wedding day. I really liked working with Elizabeth and David because Elizabeth is actually a designer, and I was really impressed because she designed her own wedding dress, and it came with pockets and everything. And I was like, wow, that's something that I would like in my wedding dress. Um, the whole wedding was very minimal and um, just really a really good couple to work with. The last misconception that I would like to address is that planning an event is easy. I've been working in the events industry for about a year now, and let me just tell you that it's anything but easy. So I've created a very, very toned down to-do list of what event managers have to do in order to plan an event. The first is, obviously, to meet with your clients. And I'm going to do this kind of in context of planning for a wedding. So here are some notes, you don't have to read it, of um, my meeting with the bride, her name is Angela, and it was our first initial meeting. At our first initial meeting, um, she just takes the time to tell me what she expects from me as a coordinator and what she might have had already planned prior to our meeting and what kind of wedding she would like. 
After our initial meeting, I create a Pinterest board, which I create a design board off of and pitch to our clients to show what my vision of what their wedding kind of should look like. For today, I have an example of a design board I created for Cottonwood Church's Christmas party, which is actually happening next week. So the essence of a design board is that we create a color scheme for the whole event. And as you can see, we're going with very toned down colors. Um, sorry, the color quality is kind of different from my screen, but it's, they're really pretty. And uh, for this event, we decided to accent it with silver and wooden elements. Here are just a few pictures of the inspiration that I got for coming up with our color scheme. We're going with various different colors of greens and trying not to use any red in it. We go as far as suggesting what type of furniture they should rent. And because for this event, we decided that wooden elements would be an accent, I thought having wooden chairs and long tables would be good. Then we move on to the tablescape, or what their place settings would look like. This can go as far as deciding the color of their napkins, or if they're going to be using rose gold, gold, or silver utensils. And of course, we have dessert. <laughs> For this event, we wanted to keep it very minimalistic and focus a lot on the white. So I suggested uh, different cookies, cakes, and even hot chocolate with mini gingerbread houses. And I thought it was really cute and just fit the overall style of being very simple and minimalistic. Most events will have a party favors table or a gift table. And uh, I personally really like this photo in the middle with the example of the gift wrapping. I think it just fits the very clean look of the event. <coughs> Then I also suggest different decorations that they can have at the venue for the event. So after we design our design board and pitch it to our clients, we'll have a second meeting where we create a Google Doc. And on that Google Doc, we'll have our budget sheet. And I don't have an example up here for you because it's confidential information. But a Google Doc with a budget sheet and vendor contact list, timeline, decor list, and just everything that we need to know for the event to move on. After that, on my own time, I'll create a contact sheet and a timeline and a detailed timeline. And I'll show you an example of what that looks like. This is an example of a contact sheet that we hand out to our vendors on the day of. And it just has all the important contact information, including phone numbers and emails and venue locations. This is an example of a general timeline. Uh, this is what we hand out to our vendors on the day of, just so they kind of know what's going on and what the program is. And then we have a detailed timeline. This is for our coordinators on the day of and our photographer and videographers, because they need to know what's going on for every moment of the event to catch it on film. After that, we'll have our venue walkthrough which is a time that we just take, usually with the bride only, for a wedding. And we just go and scope out the place, decide where we're going to place everything from the reception area, registration table, dessert table, sweetheart table, things like that. And then a week before the wedding or event, we'll contact all our vendors and helpers and just, re just go with them go through again with them and confirm their arrival time and end times. I think as coordinators, we're the middle person for the bride and groom and all their vendors. So it's really important that everyone is there on time or, or else it's on us. So it's important for us to make sure that that happens. After that, we'll have our rehearsal dinner, which is usually on a Thursday or Friday before the weekend of the event. And it's filled with a lot of food and just Re practicing again and again just to make sure that everything goes perfectly on the day of. <coughs> and then we have the actual event day, which I'm <laughs> going to tell you is crazy. And usually I work about 12 hours on just that one day for the event from beginning to tear down. And my feet really hurt, but it's just always such a good experience because all the vendors that I work with have been really good 
And it's really nice because I'm working on somebody's special day to create something memorable for them. What my company, Rekindle, really likes to do is follow up with our clients because we are building a relationship with them and we want that to last. So we'll just reach out to them after their event and ask what their experience working with us, uh, with us was like. Thank them again for choosing to work with us and if there's anything else that we can do for them. So if we do everything right, then we can help create something beautiful that might look something like this. So in conclusion, event management isn't all about ribbons and flowers. It's essentially a strong representation of public relations. We care about and build relationships with the clients that we work with and practice clear communication as we worked with various individuals for an event and we are extremely strategic about it. I love working in this industry because I get to use my God-given talents to create something beautiful for someone else to remember and enjoy. I hope that today I've helped some people see what event management really is about and show that it actually does belong under, P under public relations. So thank you so much for listening. Can I answer any questions at this time?